Asia Amara, currently doing my MSc in Assam Busco University. In this video, I'll talk about that as rectifier from the chapter Semiconductor Electronics. Before going to the circuit diagram of rectifier, let us understand first what is rectifier and the types of rectifier. Rectifier is a generally a device which converts an AC signal to a DC signal, just like our mobile charger. There are two types of rectifier, half-wave rectifier, full-wave rectifier. Full-wave rectifier contains center tap rectifier as well as bridge rectifier. First, we'll talk about half-wave rectifier, but before going there, let us see what are the components we need to build the rectifier. The components we need to build a rectifier are transformer, diodes, resistors, and connecting wires. This is a half-wave rectifier, the circuit diagram of half-wave rectifier. The V1 is an alternating signal, that means an easy signal, which changes its polarity. In positive half cycle, this one will be positive, and this one will be negative. But in negative cycle, this positive will change into negative, and this negative will change into positive. TR1 is a transformer. We use transformers to step down the voltage. D1 is a diode, Vn junction diode, where this side is positive, this one is negative. This is the resistor R1. We use resistor to take the output voltage. Now let's see what happens in positive cycle. When this is positive and this is negative. When this is positive, this positive, this makes the diode D1 to be in forward bias. When a diode is in forward bias, it allows the current to pass through it. That means when a current is passed through this diode D1, we'll get an output voltage in R1. So what happens in negative cycle? When this one becomes negative and this one becomes positive, this positive and this negative makes the diode D1 to be in reverse bias. And when the diode is in reverse bias, the diode does not allow the current to pass through it. So we won't get any output signal in the R1. So basically a half wave rectifier allows only the positive half cycle, not the negative half cycle. To understand this better, let us go to a graph. This is the graph where we apply the input signal and this is the graph where we get the output signal in case of a half wave rectifier. This is the positive cycle, this is the negative cycle. We will see that in the output signal we get only the positive cycle, but the negative cycle is cut off. Here also positive and negative. This is what happens in half wave rectifier. So, half wave rectifier allows only half cycle or negative half of the input AC signal, while the another half cycle is blocked. It uses only one diode. In the output, only half of the wave one remain. Efficiency of half wave is 40.6%. It contains more ripples. Now let us come to full wave rectifier. First, we'll talk about center tap rectifier. In center tap rectifier, we use two diodes, D1 and D2. This is called center tap rectifier because we connect R1 to the transformer. Now let's see what happens in positive cycle. When this is positive and this is negative. When this is positive, this makes the diode D1 to be in forward bias, but the diode D2 to be in reverse bias. So when the current starts flowing from here, from the positive sides, it will go from D1 and it will flow in this direction to R1 and will get an output voltage in the positive cycle. Now what happens in negative cycle when this one is negative and this one is positive? The diode D2 will be in forward bias and instead the diode D1 will be in reverse bias. So the current will start flowing through the positive side from here and flow from D2 and again in this direction it will go to R1 and will get an output voltage in R1. And we see that the polarity remains the same because in both sides, the current is flowing in this direction. Again, in the, in the negative half cycle, the current is flowing in this direction. The polarity remains the same and we get output in both the cycle. Just like this as shown in this graph. You'll see, we'll get output in the positive cycle as well as negative cycle, but the polarity does not change. The polarity remains the same. So, basically, center tap rectifiers allows both the positive and negative cycle of the input signal. It has two diodes. In the output, we get both the positive and negative waveform. Efficiency is 81.2%.
it contains less ripples it uses center tap transformer now let us come to bridge rectifier in bridge rectifier we have four diodes d1 d2 d3 d4 let us see what happens in positive cycle when this is positive if this is negative it goes from here it comes here this is in reverse bias this is in forward bias so the current will flow from here again d4 is in reverse bias it will flow to rl in this direction so we'll get an output in positive cycle and the current is flowing in this direction again it goes from here here then it comes to d2 and it comes there and in negative cycle when this is positive and this is i mean this is negative and this is positive the positive side it will go from here it will go from d4 again it comes down that means the polarity remains the same and we also get an output in a negative cycle since it goes from here here then from d3 like this so basically we'll get an output like this where we'll get both output in both the cycle and the polarity does not change so basically which rectifier allows both positive and negative cycle of the input signal uses four diodes it is more complex it has less ripple it does not use center tap transformer just as center tap rectifier it, it has efficiency 81.2 percent thank you